Hello Art Beaters, Becky here with a new video and I hope you enjoy. If you want to keep up to date on all things Art Beads, make sure to like and subscribe to our channel right now. Enjoy! Hello Art Beaters, welcome to the video. We have so many beautiful things to look at today. I'm so excited uh, to dive into all of the pretty stuff that we have. Uh, I'm Becky with artbeads.com if you're new here um, and we go live every Thursday at 10 a.m. Pacific time to share um, awesome new things that have just launched on our website artbeads.com uh, jewelry inspiration because we have tons of jewelry inspiration from our design studio um, and all of our jewelry inspiration comes with free instructions and a supplies list on our website so you can make those pieces for yourselves too and we have just got so many pretty things to look at today so I'm super excited to dive in and the sun is shining spring is here so it's just a great day hand painted focal beads and pendants so we're going to be taking a look at those beautifully painted uh, focal beads and pendants i'm going to be explaining those a little bit um, the difference between the beads and the pendants and what makes them so special and how to use them in your jewelry because there's lots of different ways to use those pretty focals in your jewelry so i have lots of jewelry inspiration for that and i wanted to talk about uh, these hand painted beads and pendants and how you can use them in your jewelry designs because there's all kinds of different ways that they can be added into your jewelry and craft ideas that I will show you. So these are our new ones. We've got this beautiful uh, panther or jaguar. It's so gorgeous and uh, someone has already put him on a beautiful bale with a little beaded link. So He's all ready to go, maybe on some silk ribbon. So these are all painted by hand um, with tiny little brushes and the details on them are so amazing. And they're typically painted on either shell or gemstone. This one is a shell pendant, mother of pearl. You can see that beautiful color. And it just adds, you can kind of see that iridescence behind the painting. I think it adds a little more depth to uh, the painting, that color of the shell behind everything. So really beautiful, really detailed. You can see like even like this, the little hairs on his body are there. His whiskers are there and then trees and leaves in the background. They are so beautiful and really nice. And each one is signed by the artist who painted it. Um, this this uh, signature is very small, but you can see it there on the bottom. So, so pretty. I love that. We've also got this eagle. Oh, I love eagles. So where our offices are, uh, artbeats.com headquarters, um, I have to drive by the ocean every day and it is a place where eagles like to fish. So more often than not, I do see eagles uh, soaring over the ocean on my way to work when I come in for Thursday live videos. So that's always so exciting. I think eagles are so pretty. So this uh, bead is just super beautiful. Again, the detail is incredible. So this one is a bead. So you can see that the stringing hole goes through the center there. So there's lots of different ways that you can use this in your jewelry. Now this is a gemstone bead as well. It is painted on agate. So it has a substantial feel to it um, and really high quality bead. So really beautiful. Again, painted by hand with tiny little brushes. You can see all of the details in his feathers, in the background. Um, so beautiful. We've got a gorgeous lion. This one is done on shell. I really like his expression. He he looks like the king of the jungle for sure. And I love the colors on this one. That's another thing about our hand-painted focal beads. The colors are so inspiring and it makes it really easy to pick out colors for the rest of your jewelry design. So again, this one is a pendant on shell. It's got a hole at the top. This one is really cool. It's two swans. We've got a white swan and a black swan and they're kind of touching beaks in the middle there, kind of a fun contrast. Um, this is an agate bead and it's got the uh, stringing hole 
down the middle like that eagle so pretty and then this lovely fox i love his little expression he looks like you just came upon him in the woods and he's even got a little dandelion puff right next to him he's ready to make a wish <laughs> so pretty again the detail is amazing um i could get this as close to the camera as possible and it would still look so beautifully detailed look at that isn't that amazing beautiful um just so much detail in this small pendant and they do they use tiny little brushes almost like one hair brushes to get some of the detail in these they are so so pretty i love that and so i um i found some inspiration uh to share with you for using some of these gorgeous focal beads in your designs um some of these are ones i've made myself for my personal collection and some of these are in our design studio so a really simple way to use your um, hand painted beads is to string them on head pins or eye pins and use them as pendants and i like to do that a lot so this one i strung on an eye pin and added some fun uh check glass and chain dangles that matched the check glass and chain that I used in the body of the necklace. And because this bead is so colorful and bright, I used darker colors for the chain and check glass so that bird would really pop. Um, so pretty. I love that one. Gorgeous. Um, and the thing about these is um, we uh, rotate our selection of uh, hand-painted focals all the time because they're always painting new ones. They don't always paint the same one. So if you see these on our website, keep an eye on them and uh, make sure to get them when you can because, you know, we used to have this one on the website, but it's no longer available. Probably because they don't paint this style anymore or they've moved on to a new uh, style. Um, so make sure to get the ones that you really like as soon as you can because you never know when they move on to the next the next artistic look for their um, hand-painted beads uh, this is another one I wanted to try something a little different with um, displaying this one so this one I wire wrapped onto a patina embellishment so you can see I kind of I threaded the wire through the bead and then added some beady embellishments here and then some more little dangles down here and um, I wrapped it uh, to the patina. I was afraid to glue it because glue, especially with these beautiful beads, feels so permanent. But now I'm really comfortable with epoxy adhesive. So if I were to do this again, I'd probably glue it. But I actually really like the wire wrapping, how it turned out, and how it allowed me to add these little clusters of pink beads that kind of remind me of her little bouquet here so i really like how this one turned out again these beads are just so beautiful on their own that i kept the chain um really simple so that's another way you could use your um, hand painted focal beads this is another example of wire wrapping, more intricate wire wrapping than I did. Um, it's almost like a wire wrapped bezel around this lovely hand painted uh, paper mache pendant. And then you've got the bezel loop at the top. So you could turn this into a Christmas ornament or add it to some silk ribbon for a fun little festive necklace. Um, that's a really cute uh, way to embellish your hand painted focals. Uh, I've got more examples of them on head pins as pendants because that's a really fun way to incorporate them into your designs. This one is in our design studio, so we have instructions and components list for this one. It, uh, this angel is used with some lovely Dakota Stones gemstones. Really beautiful. We've got this one on a head pin. Aren't they so beautiful? Just each one is so unique, so detailed, all kinds of beautiful colors. They're just all inspiring in their own way. So I love the color matching here. And this one is, there's some really pretty bead colors too, but again, it's also just finished with chain. So pretty. Here's another one. This one's on a, um, this one's on wire, just a cut wire and finished with a um, half drilled finial bead. So um, these uh, beads are quite big. So sometimes you don't have a head pin that is long enough for these beads. Um, so what you can do is make your own head pin with little half drilled finial beads and wire. You can cut the wire to whatever length you want, especially if you're going to be adding uh, extra embellishment beads. You're going to want a long 
longer wire. And then you can glue that finial on the bottom and use a matching color to whatever bead you're working with and then make your wrapped loop at the top. So that's another great tip for using these gorgeous hand-painted focal beads in your jewelry designs. This is another one. Um, this one's on an eye pin. I added another dangle with a gorgeous uh, grace lamp work and then a tassel because I just love a tassel and I think these mermaid colors are so nice together. Again, the colors in the bead really informed the bead colors that I used in the necklace. I think they all match perfectly. <laughs> and then you can also turn these. We have some really great ones that would make... Um, Wonderful Christmas ornaments. This one is a Santa pendant, but we do have a, um, I believe we have a Three Wise Men kind of nativity uh, focal bead that makes it an excellent Christmas ornament. And these are so special. They're really like heirloom Christmas ornaments because they are hand painted. There's so much artistry and detail in each one. So they make really beautiful Christmas ornaments. And you could use any of these for Christmas ornaments. You know, I have random Christmas ornaments on my tree that really don't have anything to do with Christmas, but they're just things that I like. So like I would put a mermaid on my Christmas tree <laughs> for sure, but we do have some more uh, festive ones that if you wanted to make a special Christmas ornament would be really nice for something like that. Um, here's a one of those pendants in action. So this one is a squirrel pendant. It is actually attached to a little um, wire eye pin uh, to make a nice little bail, but you could also easily attach it to your necklace with just a jump ring. And what I love about this is we've got this fun little dangle layered behind the pendant because these are a little thinner and more lightweight. You could totally layer some things behind that pretty that pretty pendant if you want a little more a little more embellishment. So really lovely. This is in our design studio with free instructions. And then um, because a lot of these are focal beads, you can also string them, just string them right in uh, to your design. So this is a really fun one. You can showcase it like this. You could wear it asymmetrical. So you've got um, the bead kind of just hanging to one side, but really beautiful. So don't be afraid to just string them right in there. There's all kinds of ways you could use these lovely focals. And I did want to also mention that bead embroidery is a really lovely way to showcase uh, some of these pieces. So what you can do, especially with um, the beads, is you can glue these onto some bead backing and then do some bead embroidery around this gorgeous bead with seed beads, um, all kinds of different ways that you can use these. This one would be really fun to do some bead embroidery around with um, dagger beads to get that feathery look. So all kinds of different ways you can use these lovely hand-painted focal beads. We have lots of inspiration in our design studio um, and we have lots of pretty beads to choose from. So check those out uh, on our website artbeads.com and I've got links in the video description. And these are our new ones this week so you don't want to miss these cute little animals. I do notice that the animals tend to go a little faster so if you have your eyes on these make sure to check them out because our animals um, are really popular. It's so cute, so pretty. 